backwards did nothing. I hate this because it like ruins my energy. High-waisted look. This is very much a Stella Williams bikini. This Hey you guys, my name is Stella Williams and I'm so excited today because I am going to be giving you guys a Skims Swim haul. I'm very excited, I got so excited for this. I'm actually wearing my Miami lashes. Oh my God, it's not funny. I purchased them in the barrio of Miami, but I didn't actually ever wear them. I'm with the TikTok theory that Kim is going to be the cover of Sports Illustrated this year because she's launching her swim and you can do anything with money. We're just gonna channel that energy and then I put Chloe makeup on because I have a special surprise I'm filming for you guys after this video. So without further ado, I have not opened my Skims box, but we are going to be doing that together. And um, yeah, trying on the swimsuits. I got everything matchy matchy. The price point for the swimsuits is around like 70 to 90. Uh, everything that I purchased will be linked down below and the price of how much everything was. I did play with sizes because I've never done skim swim before. The only thing skim I own, I got shapewear the first launch and things could have changed. And I got the Fendi Skims collab. I was supposed to be a 2X at the time and I ordered a 4X and that fit perfectly. So I was like, mm, don't really trust it. So I got a plethora of sizes. Good thing there is a return policy. So that is what we're going to be playing with today. I'm doing something new. I'm live on TikTok right now. Well, you, I'm not live to y'all, but I'm live on TikTok right now doing videos. So this is something we're trying. So if you want, head over to at the Stella Williams on TikTok. And um, yeah, this could be a new thing I do, I guess. Without further ado, no more announcements. This ain't church. Let's get into it. The only thing that sucks about this too is because I'm live on TikTok. I can't film my TikTok while I make it. So usually like I'll have my outfit on, put, do make the TikTok and then change. I'm just gonna have to do everything twice. My services to the world. I guess. There wasn't much left when I went shopping, obviously because it's way into swim season. So I won't say it was slim pickings, but definitely everything I wanted was not available. So I get it. I shop late. You guys ready? Schemes. Okay, so I got mainly everything in a 2X because that is my true size. I am a size 18. I guess I got a free gift bag and then I got two swimsuits in 3X and then one bottoms in a 4X just because like I said, I ordered Fendi Skims and the 4X fit. So I just wanted to stay true to size. If it don't fit, it don't fit. All right, so we just have our eco-friendly biodegradable bags. I love this. Now I'm gonna give you guys a sneak peek. Good American Swim, the cheapest plastic you could buy, not biodegradable at all, not even recyclable. Kimmy was like, nah, this is biodegradable. And this is what I was telling you guys with my store curve haul, I realized, because I used to run like a really fast fashion store, really, really fast fashion. Everything cheapest I could get it. When I made the switch to curve haul from Hot Girl Goods, I realized how affordable it was to make an eco-friendly packaging. That's why our store is 100% eco-friendly in our packaging working on our store. This is so simple. So now when I look at Good American and it's not eco-friendly and I'm like, mm, and you have budget, I'm like, mm. I don't know how I was about to do a swim haul without shouting out my bikini body. If you don't know, last year I founded um, hashtag my bikini body after getting called a whale in a bikini on a YouTube comment. I did a bikini haul from Boohoo and someone decided to call me a whale. That was fun. So what do I do in pure Stella fashion? I start a movement, so uh, that's what we did. And we're back at swim season. We have Whitney who is one of the people who runs our bikini body. Every walk of life, every size, every shape, every person is eligible to be posted on our bikini body. So please make sure to tag your bikini photos this year. Last year we went crazy, we did a huge photo shoot. That photo shoot was lit. Like I had girls, if you haven't seen it, uh, we had Yahoo articles written about it. It was literally so lit. So make sure to check out Bikini Body. Make sure to submit. I know that we get, like people are really excited for Bikini Body. It's not something I usually have to push. People are really excited to be involved. So if you guys did it last year, you're not exempt this year. We'll totally shout you up this year too. And I love sharing them to my story as well. So please make sure to post there. I'm going to try on my first mix match piece first because everything else matches. So I was really excited about this shirt. Kim had this in black on Instagram and I thought it was the hottest thing. I feel like this would be cuter with a tied bikini, like this brown one. I only got the tie in brown and I don't really love this color, color combo. I like this one better. So that's what we're going with today. So I'll be right back. Okay, so for this first swimsuit, I really like the top. I don't love how my boobs are sitting in it. Maybe, I don't know if it's, maybe because I'm about to start my period. My right boob's way bigger than my left and it's showing she's giving today. But I actually was pleasantly surprised at the bottoms. Not that they looked small, not on me. It's the fact that 
the apple thing. Like I'm an apple shaped girl. I don't have a big butt. I wasn't ex I wasn't expecting this much coverage. As you can see, there is a little spillage. Like when we did our Giddy review, we were really happy because Lizzo thinks about these things and there was enough fabric to cover. But here, it tried. <laughs> it, it gave forth effort, but it didn't quite hit the mark. But regardless of that, I'm actually really happy with this swimsuit. I would wear this swimsuit in public. This is something like, especially the top, I think would be really cool. Like, you know, I think this is something really cool that I would wear. I love the idea of a t-shirt swim. And I love even more the idea of bikini bottoms with it. So I, I am no stranger to bikini bottoms. I am no stranger to wearing a bikini on the beach. As you guys know, the first time I ever wore a bikini, it went viral, this video, this picture. Um, yeah, that was my first day where I ever wore a bikini and I was on Santa Monica Beach and I walked at the whole beach, I didn't care. So, good times. But anyway, that's brought us to here and the Skims haul, me not caring anymore. I think after last year for sure, after I did the, the shoot with everyone, it was just so empowering. It was like, that was literally the solid point for me to be like, I seriously don't care. One, it's just skin, two, they're just bikinis. So, this first suit is cool. Now I did get it in a 2X. It is supposed to fit here, but it's unfortunately fitting like it's supposed to fit longer. But that's how I know this is how it's supposed to be styled. So I don't know. Blue, not living for her, but again, every other color was sold out. I'm not really like a color person, only neon sometimes, but I'm really into the monotone things. But I do really love this. I love the fit itself. I think when it's gonna be wet, it'll be cooling just because of the fabric. It is obviously swimwear. So we're probably good for it. Um, the bottoms, yeah, again, I love them. There's just a little spillage. The butt is nothing crazy, nothing like, oh, you gotta have a BBL to wear it. It's really cute. I was also nervous about the skinny little hoo-ha part, but I don't, it feels fine. I don't feel like anything's out. This is really cute. The quality is superb. It, I was hoping it would be, but I'm wearing the swimsuit how it's supposed to be worn. I'm gonna fix it to how I would actually wear it just because I don't wear Things. I wear them trendier. There's like a really big, you know, the trend is to wear the bikini more high-waisted and this is the first year where I've seen bikinis made high-waisted on purpose because people wear it like that. For years, because of my apple, people were like, no sis, you're not wearing it right, la la. I've made a career of not caring. I just wanted to show you guys properly before you're like, it don't fit right. I just want to show you guys properly. And then now I'm gonna wear it like how I would wear it, which would let some of the spillage come out just to get that more like high-waisted look. And maybe I would even tuck in the shirt. That could be a vibe. Yeah, it's cute. It gives me more of a hip waist thing going on. So here is our first, I was gonna say bikini. It's not really, it's just bikini bottoms, but I guess our top and our bikini from Skims. I'm gonna give it a 10. I'm gonna give it a 9.5 out of 10. It is an amazing swimsuit. And before I go, I forgot to mention both these pieces are in a 2X. Now let's go into my favorite outfit, the one I feel like it's gonna be my favorite, but I feel like usually the one you think is gonna be your favorite is not. So let's do that one next. So I'm on TikTok and someone was just like, did you turn around the bottoms? Cause that's something I usually do. We don't have to. Giddy didn't have to. Skims, we don't have to. It's up. And if it's up, it's what? Thank you. All right, next outfit. All right, y'all. Putting it backwards did nothing. Okay, so this next suit was gonna be my favorite and I literally jinxed myself because I was like, oh, this is gonna be my favorite. And then it plays me. So this is how I love to wear them. People are always like, why is there extra fabric? Because I put them down to like cover the pocket and kind of give more body. Anywho, here's the second outfit, the second bikini. This top is in a 3X, the bottoms are in a 2X. Definitely not how you're supposed to wear the top. Maybe I'll put it there. I just feel like it looks better up there. Shout out to my surgery scars. My one year anniversary of surgery is on the 1st of June. So coming up on a year. We're gonna do a video for that for sure. So make sure to look out for it. This bikini is giving on TikTok. It's actually giving a lot on TikTok. So I'm here for it. IRL though, would I realistically not be an influencer and go wear this on the beach? Hell no. Do I think I look hot and I'll post it on Instagram? Absolutely. That is definitely going to happen. It's just not fitting at all. Like I don't, let me just wear it how it's supposed to be more. Oh, well maybe, if I lift it in the back, maybe. I don't know, it's just giving like, I'm not made for you and I don't really like that. The bottoms are cool. I'm really into string bikinis. Who has really good string bikinis is Rev Dolls for our size. This I just, and these are backwards. So I flipped them around. I had them the right way, they weren't giving. I put them on backward and that's usually the savior. It's still not giving, it just needs like an extra two, three inches of fabric. Putting it backwards did nothing. Yiddy, if you're listening, make swimwear. Do y'all know how cool it is 
to shout out brands in the middle of your other videos and say, hey, if you're listening and they actually do it. There's not much to really give to you guys here. I could adjust these, but it won't do anything. It's not a string issue. It's a coverage issue. It's a fabric issue. These bikinis were just not made for my Apple girls. My butt looks kind of good though. I mean, I guess it looks good, but I'm not like geeked to wear this. Now you guys know I will mix match a top in a second. This top's cute. I'm not, I'm not thinking that the 2X I got a 2X and a 3X. I'm not thinking that the 2X is gonna fit any better. If anything, I'm glad I got this in a 3X. Like that's how it's supposed to be worn, which I'm not mad. It's still cute, I'm not mad for sure, but I just feel like how I'll realistically wear it is like this. Let's rock with that for a second. And then let's, like if I was on the beach right now, I would wear it like this. Am I in love? No. Do I love the top? I could. Do I love the bottoms? I gotta go. Um, but I do love the color. So I definitely wish I would've got more of these in this color. And the reason I chose this color is because I did my Yiddy haul recently. I was trying to match my skin tone. Every time, ever since skin tone things have been available, I've been always getting my skin tone. Well, with Yiddy, um, I saw Lizzo in the darker body. So it was like, let me try it. And it was fire and I really do love this color on I me mean, genuinely. So that's probably more reason, but I did also get it in my skin tone. I do, the quality is here. The quality is not cheap. The, everything quality is here. I just do not think this was made for me. Am I still gonna rock this with all confidence? Absolutely, as you should too. But I just don't, like I can't see me not hitting return on these bottoms. But the top, the top I could keep. The top I could get with, I wear these bras from Parade and they look just like this. These are just swimwear material and quality. Here is this swimsuit. Do you guys see how it's like giving thong in the back? I guess that's cute. It's, I actually, the thong part is real cute. And it's high up, you guys see that? It's a high up thong, so I can get with it. But the front, I can't. Let's move on to the next swimsuit. We're gonna go ahead and try this monokini because it looked like 15 layers to get into, so let's go. One of my followers on TikTok suggested I pair it with the first bottoms and I think it's cute. I think that the bottoms are better, so maybe getting the bottom in this bottom. I've been watching a lot of, I saw Top Boy, now I think I'm English. And I'm trying to go to London next month. The bottoms with this are cute. Like I think if they were the same color, it'd be giving. I don't really love these colors together. Again, I've just not been in the skin tone ever since I discovered the darker, I'm more into it. But these bottoms are way cute. I love it. Good suggestion, thank you. I really do love this. I do think it's giving, so. Flame. All right, we're gonna go try on this monokini and I'll be right back. All right, y'all, this next one I feel is too small, period. Let me see what size this is. This is in a size 3X. It is too small. I definitely wouldn't need this in a 4X. Again, my true size is 2X, so this is not a fun experience for me. I like the idea of this swimsuit. It's really, really cute. I don't love the color. It clashes with my skin tone. The idea of it's cute, it just is not for me. It's way too small. Uh, if this fabric had one more inch to it, or at least even half an inch, I'd be happier. This swimsuit, I'm just not living for it. I just feel like I need support. I wish it had those little sticky things in there, like hold your boob up, but it doesn't. I just feel like in my size, it'd be better and in a different color, it'd be better, but this is definitely hitting the return, especially at the $92 price point. This was the most expensive swimsuit I purchased from Skims. And again, do they consider, like the fat pockets are cool. I'm gonna rock them, I'm gonna own them, but it's also like, then make the suit fit so I can do it and I can't. So I hate this cause it like ruins my energy cause now I'm bummed out cause we were like great the first one and now it's like, it was eh and now it's like, hell no. That's what I'm experiencing right now. So here is this swimsuit. All right, let's move on to our last bikini. So yeah, this top, I should have definitely got in the, like the last one I got was a 3X. Again, my true size is 2X. Do we see this? That's not what's supposed to happen. I'm gonna turn off this, cause hold on. All right, that is not giving what it's supposed to give. So we're gonna, I don't know. Okay, so this top, this combo is cute. I do love this combo. I would wear this. The swimsuit bottoms backward, I would wear. I think it's cute. This is just like normal. I think this is like a basic bikini, but this top in a 3X would have been lit. I'm actually gonna go put back on the other one because I like the fit a lot better, but this spillage, there's no way. There's no way. The bottoms though were fine. I really do like the bottoms. They have enough coverage height-wise to the side. Like these are the actual high-waisted bikinis that we were talking about earlier in the video. So I do love it. I think it's cool. Um, but this top is just like way too small and I'm not able to really give like an accurate opinion about it because it just doesn't fit. So I'm going to go put on the brown one again and then we're going to actually get into all the details and the specs of the outfit. But this 2X swim haul thing, the only thing that really fit the 2X was the first shirt that we wore. So that's kind of disappointing um, because it's not true to size, but it's getting there. You just gotta, it, 
I'll be back. All right, this is the next bikini. This is the 3X of the same top I just had on. The other one was my true to size outfit. This is very much me. This is very much a Stella Williams bikini. This is something I would feel confident and comfortable enough to wear on the beach. This is something I like to wear. This is how I dress. I'm not loving that this is matching my skin tone, but it doesn't look bad. I don't think so. And this mixy matchy energy I'm getting, I think it's pretty good. So I do love this. I do think that this is something I would wear. I feel like we started rocky, it down hot, down decline, but I would. This is the line of it's not giving. And then this is where I'm like, no, stop talking in your comments because they don't matter anymore. Like I'm happy in this, I'm comfortable in this, I'm confident in this. I would wear this out in public, I love it. So this is probably the one that's gonna get the Instagram picture. So here is this last outfit. Thank you guys so much for watching my skin swim haul. This quality is amazing. The company is good. It's just not meant for bigger girls, period, point, like per. Like, it's just not. Um, the top is cute. I love the top. I love the quality. I want to love the colors. I want to say I would buy this next swim season, but I frankly probably won't unless something changes. Because right now, I'm 100 pounds down from last year. I'm supposed to be a 2X at this company. I'm pushing a 3X in most of these items. And a year ago, if I wanted to buy this at a true 4X, which would have been a 26 on her site, it wouldn't have happened. It wouldn't have worked. So it's really disappointing to know that the sizing is that inconsistent and not working. It doesn't feel accessible to most sizes and it just feels like it was really probably modeled off of a Kim type body or a size small pushed for bigger girls. And it's just not giving what it's supposed to give. The last swimsuit was my second fave. The first one I showed you guys was my first favorite. That's that. Please look out for the uh, Good American vs. Swim Skims video coming soon. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys really, really soon. If you want any of these pieces, they're down below. Do not forget to hashtag my bikini body on Instagram and tag at our bikini body to be featured. Every single person, every single body type, everyone is allowed to pose. No matter what your gender or lack of gender, your age, whatever, whoever you are, if you want to participate, you're more than welcome to. I will see you guys really, really soon. Don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and I will see you guys later. Love and light. Bye.